Here are the best waiver wire pickups of week eight. One, Jawan Jennings. Brandon Ayuk, torn ACL, most likely not confirmed yet. Maybe by the time you're hearing this video, it is. But we saw the 40-plus fantasy point game. That was as a wide receiver one. There was no Debo. Now he's going to fill into the wide receiver two role. And Ricky Pearsall will be on this list as well. It's another guy to keep an eye on. Now, if you're in deeper leagues and Juwan Jennings isn't available because he's rostered in 45% of leagues, Ricky Pearsall's the move. 5.5% rostered. He's coming off from getting shot. Came back before Christian McCaffrey. Uh, still was able to produce five fantasy points. I know he had five targets. Those were mostly in the second half. Now, I do think he continues to have a role and it gets exponentially bigger as the weeks go on. So I think he's a solid add in number two on this list. I rarely include quarterbacks, but Drake may. If you need a streamer quarterback, I mean, this is back-to-back -back 19 fantasy point games, 13.3% roster in ESPN Fantasy Leagues because of his rushing upside too. And he's looked very good through two games. I mean, I'm fine picking him up if I need a quarterback. If whoever I have, like if you're an Anthony Richardson fantasy manager and you need a guy more consistent, Drake may could be the guy. For Tyler Goodson, now I don't know how valuable he is moving forward because I do expect Jonathan Taylor to play this weekend, but as a nice handcuff, he's outplayed Trey Sermon. He's coming off of back-to-back 10-plus -back fantasy point games. He's never going to get you 15-plus if Taylor's out, but 10-plus, I mean, that could be the difference in deciding your matchup. Next is Sean Tucker. Now, Bucky Irving, Tyrone Tracy, all those guys should be rostered in, in every league, right? So I'm not including those guys on this list. Sean Tucker, even though he's the RB3, like Rashad White's role could see it go down. Like he might not be the workhorse back that a lot of people thought. Obviously he's not because Bucky Irving's there. But what happens if it turns into Bucky Irving, Sean Tucker in the backfield and Rashad White isn't used as much? Now it's something to keep an eye on. I wouldn't waste a waiver claim on Sean Tucker. But if he does well tonight on Monday Night Football, it's definitely something to consider. Only roster in 11% of ESPN Fantasy Leagues. Super deep leagues. I know it's not great to roster Browns receivers right now, especially with the quarterback situation. Not like it can get any worse because Deshaun Watson was the worst QB in football this year so far. But I mean, 0.3% roster at Cedric Tillman. He had 12 targets. He had a pretty good game. I mean, this is definitely a guy to keep an eye on and maybe stash in deep leagues. And the same goes for Troy Taylor. I was really high on him as a sleeper preseason. Uh, Sean Payton refused to use him in preseason and in the first few games. But he's, you know, he's building a rapport with Bo Nix like he had in college. And he had a pretty good game last week. I would consider stashing him in deep leagues. Demario Douglas was in the waiver wire videos the last few weeks. I know he was sick and didn't have a great game because of that, but he's still an elite option moving forward, rostered 40% of ESPN Fantasy Leagues. Let me know what you guys say in the comments. Make sure you follow for wide receiver and RB rankings for this week coming out tomorrow.